yield curve inversion. An inverted yield curve is basically when the yield on the two-year US government bond exceeds the 10-year US bond yield as worried investors opt to disinvest from risky assets in favour of safer long-term government bonds, thus driving down long bond yields below that of nearer term bonds. And the closer the yield curve gets towards an inversion, the greater the likelihood for a future recession. So far, the yield curve inversion successfully forecast the last three economic downturns in the United States. Though the yield curve inversion has proved less reliable elsewhere, especially for Australia. My last in-depth look at the stock market in July 2018 included expectations for the yield curve to invert by the end of 2018, which implied a risk of a recession during the second half of 2019. This is my second video in a series to conclude in a detailed trend forecast for the Dow Stock Market Index covering the period from March 2019 to September 2019. However, the whole of this analysis has first been made available to patrons who support my work. So for immediate first access to all of my analysis and trend forecasts, then do consider becoming a patron by supporting my work for just $3 per month. The spread between the 2-year and 10-year US bonds narrowed to a low of 0.11 in December, but avoided an inversion subsequent to which the yield curve has stabilised in a trading range of between 0.14 and 0.2. That could be a sign for a base building trend change that helped the sow the seeds for our current stocks rally, as the stock market has been increasingly discounting the less likelihood for a recession. So as things stand today, the yield curve is signalling weaker ec economic growth, but not a recession during 2019, which compared to the trend trajectory we were going into December, is strongly positive for stocks. Of course, the yield curve could weaken once more by targeting a break of the low of 0.11, which should be a good advance signal for the stock market weakness. But until then, the signal from the yield curve is positive for stocks for 2019. However, it should be noted that we are living in an era of QE forever, which means that just because a yield curve inversion signaled a recession in the past, that does not mean it will happen next time due to the impact of Fed money printing debt monetization. So even if the yield curve inverts, one needs to keep things in perspective and not take any single indicator too seriously. I'm sure you're subscribed to the next video in this series that looks at the US presidential cycle impact on the stock market. However, the whole of this analysis has first been made available to patrons who support my work. So for immediate first access to all of my analysis and trend forecasts, then do consider becoming a patron by supporting my work for just $3 per month.